trying to make drug crimes federal, but we don't protect the work and the homies. I guarantee we next. Marquisha's very high class. You don't have what it takes to keep up with a woman like her. I know where you're at, and you know where I'll be. Taking Henry and BMF down will at least give us some peace. What's happening, BMF fans, Lamont Tyson YouTube fans, and Lamont Tyson fans on TikTok? This is going to be my episode eight. Season three review for BMF entitled Code Red. And usually when people say Code Red, it is severe threat needing immediate action. And this trailer reveals several things that might need immediate action from Meech and the BMF boys. Let's get ready to break this thing down. We'll start right now. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm impactful. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that full. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sexy as hell host me. And we're going to review this episode. Be sure to download the podcast. Pretty much everything I put up here, I put on the podcast. And go check me out on Instagram at LifeGains1. Underneath my Instagram, you can go to Showcase. Instagram has deals that are two-thirds cheaper than Amazon. You just got to wait three to four days to get it to your house. They coming straight from where Amazon get their stuff from. Headphones. 4K cameras. All like 50, 40 bucks. T-shirts for $10 with Mike Tyson and all kinds of people. They even got Air Jordan for 100 Go to my TikTok, subscribe, check out that link for Showcase. I'm going to just recap the things that I enjoy from Episode 7. Number one, y'all introduced me to Sweetie. I was calling her Salty, but her name is Sweetie. I think she did a hell of a job acting. I enjoyed her. I would like to see her on more things. Way to go, sis. For someone who never knew you, you you got you a new fan right now. I made some bold predictions about people I think are going to die. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you. I think Jen just signed her death wish. I think that she is going to die at the hands of Henry. And that's going to make me upset. Because we've already seen from the previews last season when they bust the BMF boys. Coach Cop was there at the end, but there was no Jen. I think Jen is about to be done by Henry this season, and it's going to hurt because I actually like Jen. But I think Henry is going to take her out. And last but not least, <clears throat> I'm really loving Little Meech, man. Little Meech, you've got a fan for life, bro. I want to see you in some other things beside BMF. You doing your pops a solid. He always wanted a better life for you. And brother, you is nailing it out the part. You doing the thing, bro. Keep bringing that heat. First thing we see, <clears throat> we hear Meech saying, they trying to make drug crimes federal. We got to protect the work and the homies. Or we going to be next? He's talking about the Red Dogs, y'all. They turning up that heat. And if you didn't know, during 1990, they passed a bill called the Crime Control Act of 1990 passed by some of y'all's favorite president george h w bush this act included various provisions to strengthen laws against drug offenses including stiffer penalties on drug possession and trafficking particularly for crimes involving get this cocaine and methamphetamines folks this was designed strictly for the bmf boys and you know what they got around that and then some of y'all's other favorite president, Bill Clinton, got involved and passed another bill to make it even worse. He called this one the Violent Crime and Control Law Enforcement Act of 1994. This is the one that Meech is specifically talking about in this clip. And basically what this did was included Federal Death Penalty Act, which expanded the number of drug-related offenses eligible for the death penalty meaning that if they caught a nigga with drugs, they would kill your ass. That's what happened with that. And so Meech is warning everybody, we have got to take care of each other because they are coming for us using these tactics. And we already know the Red Dogs ain't scared to go illegal anyway because they know that the man is on their side. 
And somehow, some way, ladies and gentlemen, Meech was able to avoid that for years and take care of people all at the same damn time. Then we get T voicing over, talking to new cop. I'm going to call him officer phone number. Instead of pulling people over and giving them real tickets, he likes to pull folks over and give them his damn phone number. He's telling him, look, Markeisha likes high class people. You ain't got the juice to keep up with her. And then he speaks one more time and said, I know where you at and you know where I'm at. Talking to officer phone number. I don't like this for me. I mean, T, excuse me, because first of all, I don't even know if I really feel like I can trust Markeisha. She looks good. She got them good cougar draws. But at the end of the day, she's causing a ruckus. She's the one that set this situation up with him to be added with this cop. Bruh, you can't make it when the person you're trying to sleep with is creating enemies for you on the low low and then reveling in the fact that you jealous. Come on, man. Dude, what happened to what um, Ja Rule said, M-O-B, money over bitches? What happened to that? Can we get that? And this dude right here, this officer phone number right here, he not only do he want Markeisha, but I believe he's willing to risk his job over something. We don't know nothing about this dude. We don't know how crooked he is. We don't know if, um, well, first of all, we know we can't trust him because when Markeisha broke the law, instead of giving her a ticket, he gave her his phone number. So he's a little dirty. How dirty is he willing to go? We'll see. I think he's willing to stick his neck out there because he wants to prove that he is the top dog in Detroit. What is T going to have to do with this dude? He's going to have to do something. You know what? Could y'all ever see a situation when they team up? Post your comments. Let me know. I doubt it. But something going to have to deal with this guy. Then we get Jen voicing over as we see money on the table with blunts. I think this is Meech's crib as they showing that. And then they show Henry really, really looking like St. Louis. Got on all that black hair down. Lips all scrunched up like she got a mustache. And Jen is saying, taking Henry and BMF down will at least give us some peace. And as they show that, they show her. Then they show a quick pic of Meech in the club having fun, which is what Meech did back in the day. Then they show Jen talking to Coach Cop. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of Jen, get ready to see her go down with the sin. She's going to die. This is it for her. Good riddance to a great actor. You did a good job. I just got that feeling this is it for you. And then they end the trailer with the red dogs breaking into somebody's crib in the hood. And you see them busting up in there. I don't know who they getting, but they about to take down somebody. And then they show somebody at nighttime getting thrown out of a window. And the person getting thrown out of a window is this cat right here firing a gun in the house where Meech be at. And he missed Meech because Meech comes and tackled that ass like he Lawrence Taylor. Takes him down and commenced to whipping him. Now, I tell you what, boy. Meech don't do a whole lot of killing, but he sure enough do a whole lot of fighting. I guess that's how you got to make up for it on the show since we can't really show Meech killing nobody and open up investigations. You can show him fighting. So he's beating the hell out of this dude. I don't know who he is. He pistol whipping him. He ain't killing him. He pistol whipping him. So post your comments, y'all. Let me know what you think. How are you enjoying the season? How did you like Sweetie's performance? And are you enjoying Lil Meech? He's evolving to me, and I've enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see him on something else. Post your comments. Get ready for me to go live Monday at noon EST to do kind of a recap of what happened on Episode 7 with the crew and the panel. Um, download the podcast and go join me on TikTok. Deals are all over that TikTok shop, ladies and gentlemen. When you click on my um, TikTok, go to Showcase, and you'll see all kinds of deals in there for you to take advantage of. You ain't even got to keep going to Amazon. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get that life gain. Till that next sex is hell video, I'm out.